Hello, good people of Farming Simulator. I hope y'all are doing well, having yourselves a good day. I'm just trying to get this beast back to the farm. We are almost there. So what do we need to get done today? Hopefully we're gonna make ourselves a little bit of cash. Let's pull on over here. Or I guess I get all the way out of the road. There we go. Now we can pull up the map and see what is what. Let's see here. So we have 19, 22, and 21. They need to be harvested. So we've got canola in 19 and 22. So I'm actually thinking maybe we should start there just because that's going to be easier than field 21. Field 21 is our chickpeas. And we are going to have to do something with the chickpea straw since we finally figured that out. So that's what I'm thinking. I want to jump on to 19. Now, I did notice that in our forecast, we have rain. And it's already almost 6.30 at night. So I don't know if we're going to, I don't think we're going to get everything done in today in game. So that's not going to be too bad because I'm hoping that maybe our compost will be ready throughout the night and it'll also give our flour mill a chance to do what it needs to do and we can maybe i don't know if we're going to be able to see i don't know how long it's going to take for the flour mill to produce all the flour and go through all of the wheat i'm very curious about that i just don't know how much flour we're going to get so i'm excited to find out how much and how much cash we're going to make stop 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 Okay, there we go. So, as you can tell, I think we should start off with field 19. It's our smallest. It should be our quickest. Turn, turn, turn. All right. So, that is kind of the game plan. It's a rough game plan for sure. So, let's get the canola done first. Is this harvester, is this header going to give us problems? Ooh, look. It did what it was supposed to do. Okay. We've been having trouble with the wheels on the left side of our header being sideways and really messing up everything. So hopefully it fixed itself. Let's, let's get right into it. That's what I say. Let's not mess around. Let's not dilly dally. Let's kick it up a notch and see about getting these two fields knocked out. Well, let's do something we do not do very often on this map, which is for sure is uh, put a worker on here. There we go. We do not get to do that very often at all. So let's go grab our uh, truck and let's get over here and get this thing emptied out. Let's see. There we go. Now, I had talked about making this trailer hold a little bit more. I have not done that. I've... Uh, 
Had great restraint and uh, not done that at all. Left that alone. It still holds the same 30,000 liters. But one of these days, these fields, 30,000 liters works out pretty good for these. So I haven't had a really big urge to do anything with it yet. Looks like we need to go down here and hopefully they won't be full. But don't get me wrong. Eventually I, I will have to go in and make this thing hold a little bit more just because it's a sickness all right let's just sit here and wait for that guy well corn found it we weren't quite quick enough were we they almost made it down here but uh, to no avail all right let's, uh, let's get out let's go take care of this There we go. So that's not bad. We are gonna we are gonna end up hopefully with a full trailer out of this. We should. It's gonna be really close. I'm hoping it's not more than a full trailer. I mean, don't get me wrong, I guess. That is a good get back up here. That is a good problem to have. It is too much crop. So let's uh let's just get this thing emptied out and then we're gonna carry on and get this field done. It is very nice to have just what I would call an easy field. And this one was what I would call an easy field. There was no surprises, no big uh, turmoil, no nothing. Just a fairly easy, fairly quick field and boom, it's done. Everything's going to fit in the trailer, I think. Nothing crazy. It's just nice to have one of those every now and again. You just don't get them very often. There, raise that head up there now what I'm thinking is I want to get this guy over to what is that field 20 not 22 is it it is field 22 so we're gonna hop over to field 22 and then I'm gonna try to get a worker going while we take this truck down and see if we can get the trailer emptied out and ready to go that is that's my plan now of course when the uh, I get the workers started they're gonna leave a mess that we're gonna have to come in and clean up but I think we can handle that that way at least we're not sitting around waiting or the harvesters not sitting around waiting with nothing to do okay can we get this thing through here with oh we should be able to do it with the header on right it's a little tight well no well, there was a sign there, but we didn't need that sign there anyway. So I'm thinking maybe I can run one headland across here. To be honest, I do not know. I don't know which way I see. Okay, now I was looking at the grain of the field. Kind of tell me which way the worker likes to go. So we'll do at least one headland on here. And then I'm just going to put the worker on it. And then, uh, like I said, we'll run down. We'll dump out the trailer. Hopefully, we'll get back in time that the worker is still going. And we can just keep the machine moving. Well, this area looked like as good a place as any for this guy to get going. Now, I didn't run a headland on both sides. I am just going to let them do what they do. So, let's jump over. Let's grab the truck. Grab the trailer and let's go see how much money we're going to get per trailer. Uh, close to per trailer anyway. I don't think that one's all the way full, is it? 29. So we're really close. Now, where are we going to sell canola? That is the question. So, okay. Canola, canola. We are at... Ooh, hey. The grain elevator is at... 2029 is dropping but no i'm not doing sell point 150 i need to delete that's what i need to do but i have not done so as of yet so grain elevator it's not far hot diggity so just down the road a piece let's get our butt moving let's get down there get this emptied up hopefully uh, we can get back before the worker ends up with a full tank i think the grain elevator is right over here isn't it 
Well, I, th I thought it was right there. Oh, that's right. This is not the way you get in, though. Corn found it. And this truck and trailer is not the easiest to turn around. So now we got to go down here and see if we can find ourselves a place. Oh, look. This looks like a good backup spot. Maybe. We shall see. Come on. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, heck yeah. No hill for a stepper. That's what they say. Let's see if we can find our way in this corn-founded thing. Yeah, there's the green. I saw it. I guess I'll have to go around. Since there's a big old concrete truck in our way. Oh, that's right. I remember. There it is. All right, so how much are we going to get? We should get high 50s. Oh, I better scoot over just a wee bit here. There she goes. The money is going up. I am very curious as to how much we're going to get out of the compost because from what I can tell I think we're gonna make stupid money from that which I, I I'm okay with that almost 60 grand I am definitely okay with making a little bit of stupid money <laughs> I'll take all of that money I can get all right let's get back there and see if we can keep up with the worker here Let's get over there and see how they are doing. I am kind of curious. Wow. Doesn't look too bad, at least right here. I should have ran two headlands, but that's that's not bad. What do we got down here? Wow, look at them go. I am impressed with the worker. Very nice. So I think let's just pull this guy right over here. And then I think it is time for us to take over. They did a fine, fine job. With that being said, it is time for us to come in, clean up, and uh, keep the ball rolling here. Get this a little bit. Now that is not a bad cleanup at all. They did well. I think let's run this no you were supposed to drop down I thought I hit the button drop down there it is so I think I'll run one more right here then we'll come back down here and just keep running the same thing I had the worker doing that sounds like a pretty good plan and we should get a little bit more crop out of this field this is definitely bigger than field 19 so we should make a little bit more money off of this. Now it is getting really close to seven o'clock. It is starting to get late. So I do not think we're going to be able to get to our chickpea straw before dark. We might, we might be able to get in there and at least get it started, which would be cool. That would be nice to get a head, head start on it. And then tomorrow morning we can get in there, get it finished up, knock it out and hopefully check on flower production and check on our compost and see how close it is to being ready to sell. So with that, I'm going to just kick back and uh, let's, let's get this thing knocked out.
there it is. That was not too bad at all. Again, a pretty fairly easy, the way it should go, field. And that is the way we like it. Now let's get down here. I do not think this is all going to fit in my trailer. I would not imagine. I am not sure. I can't really remember how much we put in this guy to begin with. My goodness, the brakes on this thing are just a tad bit uh, sluggish, I guess. So we, we still got it done. Both fields under 7 o'clock at night. That's pretty good. I think it took us like an hour to get both fields done. Now we haven't emptied yet. And it looks, I believe, we will probably need two trips to sell. Yep, there we go. And there is more in there. No problem at all. Maybe what we can do is let's sell this. And we will just stick the rest of it in our uh, in our silo this is a pretty darn good way to end the day making a hundred and what about a hundred and twenty thousand dollars let's see i heard the noise i'm like what yeah there's 60 grand so we made about a hundred and twenty thousand bucks just to end the day with and we should start off making some nice cash with the chickpeas as well Depending upon how far we get before it gets dark. Whoa, I didn't want to run anybody over there. Just stroll on through there. No hurry. No hurry. Oh, oops. <laughs> Oopsie. They ignore that sign laying in the middle of the road. My goodness, people. All right, let's get back to the farm. Let's get this ball rolling. Let's run over here, let's empty out this harvester, and we will just go ahead and take it right over and let's get started on the chickpeas. And maybe I can get a helper rocking and rolling a little bit on that. And then we'll go dump what little bit we're gonna get, a canola here. We'll dump it in the silo and then hopefully get her back here in time to keep the worker rocking, or at least the harvester rocking. Once we get it emptied, I'll jump in and take over. It's just faster that way, and we are definitely limited on time. Oh, let me shut that thing off. There we go. All right. Pipe in. Let's turn around. Let's rock. Come on. You can go. There it is. That hesitation between when you say go and it actually takes off, it about drives me insane. No patience here at all. Come on, go. Move it, man, move it. All right, so I think if we can kind of do a little something, something, I'm not really even sure how to get a worker rocking on this field anyway. Let's take a quick look. I, I really don't know. Oh, hey, 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 hey. I do know that I need to enable straw swath. Okay, that's better. We want the chickpea straw this time. So what is going to be maybe at the bottom of the field there, try to get it rocking and rolling. I might just sit the worker loose at the, like right in the middle. I'll do a quick headland across the top, a quick headland across the bottom. Then I'll just send that worker somewhere in the middle and then we can just clean it up. Whoa, whoa, did I disconnect? Evidently I did. I don't think anybody else jumped in here and disconnected my header for me. <laughs> All righty, let's see. And set a worker to go. And where are they going? We don't know. They're going that way. That is just fine. At least they are going some way. Let's go this way. There we are. Oh, what? We only ended up with about 4,800 liters of this canola. I guess that's better than a kick in the pants, if you ask me. We will take it. We'll stick it in our silo and uh, kind of save it for later, just in case. You never know when you're going to need a little bit of backup. So let's go dump this and then get back over here and see if we can uh, take over for the worker. All right, so how'd they do anyway? Well, not too bad. I mean, we got a couple of nice straw swaths through there. Ah, tree. Look out, tree. 
Let's get down here and see if we can uh, get them emptied up a little bit. I can't remember which way the pipe's going to be. Probably on the wrong side. It usually, it will be. That's all right. We'll go ahead and just hop in here. There we go. Okay, you can go away now. Let's get this guy emptied up. Now, I am definitely uh, thinking about doing a couple of episodes, or at least a few episodes here, there, and yonder on Ischia Farms. I'd been there before, but they just did an update for it, and I would really like to go back and uh, see about planting my own, I think it's grapes, isn't it, is what they do. And I think they added a couple other uh, crops as well, some newer crops, which that would be cool. Anytime you get to play with some new crops, I am all about it. Now, I've got the, this one, we will keep going. And I'm also, usually I think it's every like Saturday or Sunday, I think it's Sunday, that I'm doing a Stone Valley 2X, trying to keep that one going. We've about got that map licked. We just about got, I'd set up some goals for that. And I am really close to having those goals met one way or the other. It's all about the animals on Stone Valley, that is for sure. At least trying to get to where it's all about the animals. I'm hoping that I can get it to a point where just the animals are making us the money that we need. That is the goal. That has been the goal with Stone Valley. It hasn't panned off yet. We're making a little bit of cash, but not, not as much as I would like. But I definitely think, uh, let me know what you think. Should, uh, should I do some Ischia Farms? So I guess I need to go ahead and put this back on a worker. There you go. And now where is the best place to sell chickpeas? That is the question. The question that we all want the answer to. Let's see. There is, that is chickpeas right there, isn't it? So we've got uh, the cooperative El Barbricho. Oh, well, I, I'm sure I slaughtered that. I, <laughs> it's 2,900. I'd say that is the place. That is, the, wow, that is awesome. That's almost $3,000 per thousand liters. So we should be in what? The 80 something, uh, high 80s. No, there we go, right there. Uh, Tag the place. Now, where, oh, where, there it is. All right, so it's down by the haystack and biogas plant, not too far away. Let's, uh, you know, someday I need to do something with this. I came in here and I cut a bunch of lumber so that I could make a thumbnail. And I'm like, well, by golly, I am not going to just let that go away. That took energy and effort and time. Uh, we will sell it at some point in time. I just, you know. We're here. Honest Engine, I had no intentions of selling this right now. But here we are. Let's see. How much? Extra $68,000. Oh, didn't quite get those, did it? Oh, well, a little sloppy. little sloppy. That's all right. Let's go right here. Start her up. Let's get our butt. Look at to wherever the heck it was we were supposed to be going. I can't, I can't remember uh, so can I take this road? So if I take, yeah, this road will do me great. Sweet. Let's get our butt there. So we are already up over $300,000. And we still have our flower that should be rocking by tomorrow morning. And we should also be able to, uh, be real close to being able to sell some compost. I think we are going to be sitting with oodles and gobs of cash very, very shortly, which means we are going to be buying some stuff. I don't know what yet. We definitely, we need a harvester. We'd I'd like to have one of our own. All right, right through here. Excuse me, pardon me, people. There we go. Swing a wide, swing a wide. And there we are. All right. Now, how much are we going to make? So it's almost... Yeah, we should make uh, mid 
70s, I think. Mid-70,000 is what we should make. Now, uh, what is it? Fork Boy was very kind to me. He told me that I have to check for the flower uh, the amount I have in animals. I'm not sure how that works, and I haven't tried it. So we end up 87,000. What did I say? Did I, I don't even know. So we're up over $400,000. Man, we are going to have just so much money. We're going to be sitting extremely well. So let's see. There it is. I had no idea that this is, uh, this is where you've got to check. Now it says we have 619 liters of flour. 52,000. Wow, they have not... Well, we just really, we just did this. This is a different episode, but it's the same day as the last episode we were in. It's only been a few hours difference in-game. I try not to do anything, uh, I guess, off... No, I don't really like to say off-screen because I'll do things while we're making a video that I don't put in the video, but I don't come here and start working on stuff when I'm not making a video. That's just not the way. I do everything, uh, basically, in an episode. That's the way I go. Uh, turn, baby. Woo. So let's, uh, anyway, let's get her butt. Hurry up and get back there before our helper is full. Well, we didn't make it. They got full before we got back. But, you know, that's all right. Come on. Oh, I got to let go. Let the helper take a break. Take a mini. That was a term I've used for years. Take a mini break. Just a little break. Gives you a couple of minutes to get something to drink. So anyway, I didn't say it, uh, but I meant to. Thank you, Fork Boy, for that information. I had no idea how to check the flower production. And he was definitely kind enough to let me know. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you again, sir. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to let this empty out. And then we are going to just go ahead and we'll leave the, the worker off for right now. We're going to go ahead and see if we can get this field finished up. We should be able to without too much trouble. And it is starting to get dark, but it is not there yet. So I think we are going to beat the darkness as far as getting this field harvested. And then tomorrow morning, we'll be able to pick up the straw. All right, I'll see you when this field is done. All right, I think we got one more. I do not know why I always have to say all right before I say anything. It, 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 it kind of drives me crazy. I'm not really sure why I do, but I tend to do it. But this should be our last little run right here. I think our header is going to take it all. And we are just beating nightfall. It is really close. As you can see, street lights are on. It is time for all children to get their butts home. That's, that was the rule when I was growing up. When the street lights came on, it was time to get home. All right, so let's get over here and fill up this trailer. It will not take it all, but what I want to do, and I don't want to go to bed yet because I don't want prices to drop for chickpea through the night, which I know if I waited and put it off until morning, the price would probably drop. Break, 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 break. Okay, there we go. And then I would lose money. Let's see here. The chickpea, it's uh, nice and steady right now, but I don't trust it for nothing. So, and chickpea straw. Now, what? oh, hey, chickpea straw. Look at that, 252. That's not bad. I think the last time I looked, it was uh, $100 cheaper. Of course, it's dropping. Now, and to sell chickpea straw, it has to be bales. Has to be bales. That was a hard lesson to learn. My goodness. Okay, so let's... I left it running. Turn on a couple of headlights here. Let's get her butt down there and let's get this sold before, uh, before it gets too dark and too late. Now, I don't mind if I'm playing by myself and I'm not doing a video doing it. I have no problem playing throughout the night. But when I'm doing a video, it's it's really hard 
you guys can't see anything. It's just too dark. So I, I don't find it very good to be playing doing a video in the nighttime. And we are here. Now, one of the cool things about this trek is you can look down and it even tells you that your headlights are on. Which I think is pretty darn neat. And if you turn on your high beams, it tells you when your high beams are on as well. That is, a, that's pretty cool. I thought that, I don't know what they call those, but those are like very, very bright. Hey, that was supposed to be empty. Oh, it is. I just couldn't see it. So it was user error as usual. $490,000. We are going to hit 500000 before this night is over. And then hopefully we will be able to sell our compost after this. And that first thing in the... I don't know about first thing in the morning. We'll, we will have to figure out what to do with the straw first thing. I don't know if we can use the uh, chickpea straw to make compost or not. We will have to we will have to figure that out. So I'm trying to think of the best way to do that with uh because if we can't do compost with the chickpea straw, then we have to bale it. So I don't want to pick a whole bunch of it up in my trailer and then not be able to make bales with it. I have a thought and we will go through that I think tomorrow morning first thing. Oops, sorry, sign. And there it is, another $36,000. That brings the total to $526,000. That, uh, that is pretty stellar right there. So I think with that, it is time for us to get our butt back to the farm, grab a late, uh, not really, eh, sort of a late supper, and get our butts to bed so we can hit it hard first thing in the morning. Good morning, everybody. I hope you had yourselves a good rest. And I am certainly glad we got all of our harvesting taken care of before morning. Because, uh, well, as you can see, it is raining, which is, uh, which is okay. Rain is good. When you're a farmer, I mean, not too much rain, but enough rain. You got to have some. There we go. Those chickens, they just don't care. Oh, and I fell off. Corn found it. So now we've got that. We need we need to figure out about the uh, fermenting silo for compost. I'll get it. I'll spit it out here in just a second. Now, we got to find out if it's actually going to work. So what I'm thinking we should do, let's go over here. Let's uh, hop in our truck. I don't need that big boy. Let's... Uh, let that go. Now, I think my little trailer, I think, is just over here. So let's go over here and grab it. Now, I'm not going to cheat anything in that I'm going to keep. But what I want to find out is if we back up here and we come over. And I want to see if it will allow us to unload then we know chickpea straw will work for compost. So what I'm going to do, do a little cheaty cheat here. Let's go into here. And we want what? Chick, oh, hey, there it was. Chickpea straw. Okay, so that's what we want. Go back. I need a menu. And we go here and here. Now, see, it does not. Let's try this one. Nowhere does it tell me that I can unload. Now, it says lift front loader arm. I don't even know what that means. Yeah, so chickpea straw will not work to make compost with. That is what I wanted to know. So, simple enough. We come back in and we empty it. Go, uh-oh, what did I just empty? I don't know. Let's go there. Now, let's try this. I had the wrong thing highlighted. Empty. There it is. So now our trailer is empty. We didn't cheat anything in. It was only for a test. This is only a test. That means that we need to get ourselves a baler. And I did see throughout the night as we were sleeping that the uh, fermenting for the compost is done. Let's turn so we can actually see. That looks pretty good. Drop that off. And with that, now I wonder... 
how well we didn't really use much wheat I'm confused because we didn't use much wheat at all so does that mean that we need let's go let's go over here because I am very confused oh okay but still we didn't we put in wait a second here Oh, okay, so we've used almost, almost, like, 3,500 liters of wheat. That's it. And we got, I think, each one of these we figured was worth, like, $5,000 or something? Now, does it tell me if I come up here? I don't remember. Somehow I was able to see what was in these earlier, but I can't remember all of that. But I think we I think we're going to make us a ridiculous amount of money. Now, that being said, it definitely takes a while. This has been running all night long, and that's what we've got. So that's a, it's going to take some time, but I definitely think it is worth it. We are going to make some money. Okay, enough of all this yabbing and yapping and all of that. Let's figure out what we want for a baler. We don't really need a wrapper. Now, do any of the balers we have, are they variable as far as how much they hold? How big a bales? I don't even know. Because normally I just stick with the 4,000 liter bales. I don't try to change them up for bigger bales or anything. What's the point? So that's the fast baler. We don't care about a fast baler. Do we have a variable? What is that? Okay. Uh, you can press can bales. And, oh, it can from. Da, da, da. Now, this does say I think we can get up to, if I'm reading this right, 6,300 liters for bales. That's not bad. That's what I'm assuming it means. That's a weird size, 4,066. Now, I might be reading these all wrong. Like I said, I don't really mess around with the variable size baler. I think we're going with the big baler because we don't have to do any of that. I'm just, uh, just doing a little browsing here, just checking it out, making sure that nothing is uh, askew. So there we go. Now... Yeah, I don't want to buy. I don't want to buy that because if we buy a baler, we're gonna to need to buy one that uh, does wrapping for silage bales. Okay, so we'll set up. Whoa, that looks just fine to me. I am not picky. Let's lease that four thousand dollars. My goodness gracious. Okay, so we've leased that. Now we need to get ourselves a tractor, head down to the store, and uh, grab our baler. That baler looked a lot smaller in the store. <laughs> it looked like just a little guy in the store. It does not look so little here. But that's, uh, I guess that's neither here nor there. As long as this beast right here can handle it, we should be just fine. And I think we'll go this way. Our field is right there. I don't know if you can see it up there. Barely in the distance, you can kind of see the straw swaths coming into focus. We're lucky for me, nobody has an umbrella. Crazy people. All right, so let's drop it. Let's turn it on. Oh, we got to unfold. So let me pull up my menu here. Is it unfolded? I think it is. Turn it on. And here we go. Now this should help out being a 6,000 liter bales. It will definitely cut down on the number of bales we have, which is just fine. Now I hope we don't run into an issue where we sell them. If we do, I guess it's my own fault. All right, let's shut, shut that off. Now let's... uh spew out some bales now that bale looks really dark especially even compared to just the chickpea straw it's not near that dark and we are coming down to the end hallelujah now i have no idea how many bales we have here 
It looks like a few as I scroll around here and look in here, there, and yonder. I'm going to say, what, 45? Yeah, let's go 45. I think that's what I'm going to say. I have no idea. I'm just uh, throwing a number out there. The only reason I went with the 40s is because the last time I guessed, I guessed 40 and I was right. So I thought, this looks like it's more bales. So we'll go 45. Of course, I might be wrong because I didn't uh, see that we had another swath here to go. At least it's not a big swath. Well, I guess the bigger would be better. That means more money, so you can't really complain about that. Now, we need to figure out what trailer we want. I would like one that holds as many bales as we could get. Let's turn this on. I think we can... No, I don't want to turn off Baylor. Or do I? Do you turn off Baylor so you can unload? Unload Baylor. There we go. So we ended up with about 3,000 liters left. That's all right. We can handle that. That is just fine. So let's let's look. Uh, bail. Now we have over here, we have auto load. So I'm not really sure. Uh, doesn't really say how many. Oh, I guess maybe do you have to click it? It just doesn't say. So that one doesn't say. Okay, none of auto load. What is that? What do you wait? It auto loads the uh SEK 802 auto loads? I had no idea. Now can that work to uh, it says bales and pallets? I I did not know that at all. Huh. That is very interesting. I, I just didn't know that. There's a lot of things I don't know. Oh, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> okay, here we go. That's the one we've already got. Yes, yes, or not got. The one we just looked at. So these are not auto loads, and we're not doing round. So those are round. When it's squared, does 30 bales. That might be the guy we get, because I believe our truck can handle that. So why would you have the so oh, square bales big? Hmm. Is that what we're going to need? You know, that might be what we need. So I'm thinking that is, oh yeah, these are all baby balers. Oh, those baby bales. I had some uh, fun with those. I think it was at Lone Oak. My goodness, that was uh, that was an episode fighting with the baby baler. Woo! So, all right, this is that the big bales, square bales, big. Okay, let's get this one right here. It only holds twenty, but it is the big bales. So let's go here. We will just leave it as is. I do believe wheel brand decals. Everything looks pretty good. I'm, I'm all right with that. Let's lease it. Take it. Okay. There we go. Now, well, we could also, while we're here, let's go garage, leased. And let's return the big baler. Goodbye. Okay. So, we need truck. That's what we need. Let's head our happy but right down to the store, grab our uh, trailer, and see about picking up some bales. So, okay, if you want serious farming, you may want to close your eyes for just a second. We did this with the big old gooseneck on here, but what does it do without the gooseneck? And up. Oh, land it, land it. Oh, that's, whoa. And we did. Look at that. No harm, no foul. We did just fine. I thought it might fly a little further. It did pretty good. I was trying to get an angle, so I landed on the road. But, you know, you can't have everything. I'm not I'm not a good stunt guy, evidently. Zoom. Okay, let's hook this bad boy up. How's it look? That's what I want to see. Now that doesn't look too shabby on there. That actually, stop it, tree. That actually looks like it could 
bit and go with it. I would need to change the color of the rims, obviously. What color should I go with? <laughs> Maybe onyx? Oh, there's a problem, though. I think, uh, well, other than I just ran over that person. Now, I don't think I can scoot that back. But it hits the cab. It looks like the front of the trailer hits the cab, so... All right, let's get down here. Let's pick up some bales. Yes, indeed. The cab of the or the trailer definitely hits the cab. So that... Oh, really? It said big. Oh, no. Oh, that's no bueno. That is no good at all. See, that's what I get. Go with the big baler. Try to save. Try to cheat a little bit. Not really cheat. Just... Oh, man. Now let's go see if we can find a baler that's going to do the job. So, a couple of things have happened. One is I kind of screwed the pooch, and I screwed up my recording. I uh, After I realized that my loading trader didn't work, I went and I picked up the one that was not for big bales, and it worked just fine. But I screwed up, and somehow, when I thought I turned my recording on, I returned my recording off, and well, here we sit. I've already collected all the bales and sold them all, and I didn't get to share it with you at all. What a butt I am. Now, I will tell you, we got 52 bales. I have to have full disclosure. I guessed 45, and I was wrong. <laughs> As normal, I was wrong. Uh, so what did we make? We ended up making, I think it was what? So for sold bales, for chickpea straw, we ended up with uh, $64,000 out of 52 bales, which is pretty darn good since it's just the cream on top. You know, you already got sold your product, which was the chickpeas, and now you made an extra 62 grand off the straw. I will definitely take that every day of the week since we did learn that we cannot uh, use chickpea straw to make compost so let's uh, before I even tow this thing back now definitely do not get this trailer with this truck I mean it will work in a pinch but it definitely has issues that's as far as you can turn so I recommend do not mix these two together let's go ahead let's get to to the garage and least I no wait no 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 I want lease. There we go. So let's go ahead, return that guy. We don't need it anymore. There we go. So we did get the field is emptied. It oh darn fence. Jeez. So let's uh, let's take a shortcut back to the farm. So I got a message during the middle of the night that told us that our compost is done and ready to go. So I am thinking that the next episode, we are going to be sticking that in the plant. And I would assume that we get paid from it the same way we do from silage, which would be at midnight, we will make money from it. That, I mean, I haven't done it before, but everything else seems to act almost exactly the same way as silage. So I'm going to assume that when we get paid is also going to be the same. But we have done extremely well today. What? We've harvested three fields and picked up the straw with bales. Now, you, I didn't get to share that, but, uh, of course, that all falls on me. I can take it. I know. I screw up all the time. That's one thing I do very well. <laughs> that helps you get better at fixing your stuff. When you screw it up all the time, you get really good at fixing it. But the only way to fix that would have been to redo the field, go through and re-harvest it, re it all up. And I'm like, you know, for about 10 minutes worth of, not even 10 minutes, probably about five minutes worth of video, I'm thinking maybe, maybe that's not what we're going to do. So the next episode, we will definitely be uh, getting our compost, getting it in the plant, and then we are going to need to replant everything all of our fields are empty i don't even know if our grass field is fertile or not fertilized but ready to go i'm going to assume that grass is good it's probably ready to go it is 
I don't know what we're going to do with it. We don't usually I use grass for animals. I don't think we're going to need any money anytime soon for sure. But you know, you can never have too much money. I can spend money like water going through a sieve <laughs> without a doubt. But with all that, hey, I want to thank everybody. Thank you for tuning in. I'm not sure if I taught you much today. Hopefully you had a little bit of fun, had a laugh here and there. Uh, I'm not sure. I did learn that chickpea straw will not make compost. So I did learn something today. Knowledge is power, always. Thanks again, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for the likes. Definitely thank you for the subs. It's all greatly appreciated. Be good, everyone. And until next time, see ya.